Hi there, hope you are doing great. I'm just Tawani and today I will be cleaning up some cables in my PC. First, let me introduce you to my PC. So this guy right here is my PC. Uh, we have got a custom made vinyl up here. Just I made it because I love that work and I love Batman. These are my two favorite supers of all time. So this is it. We have uh, vinyls in front and we have a fake i3 processor because I don't actually have i3 inside. So let's get to the inside of the PC. So as you can see, the cable management here is super, super weak. Uh, this is a total messed up cable management up here. So we have got a couple of things that I'm going to be talking about. We have got an Indian Pentium dual core processor. So nothing crazy. It is a pretty, pretty weak PC. We have got four gigs of RAM, EN Duden graphics card, and three terabytes of hard disk space. Nothing crazy up here. So like I said, I will try to fix some of the cables. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it or not, but I will try my best to do it. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to be testing it up. I think the PC is completely fine. I have tried this method before, so don't get now the PC is dusted up and I just want to talk about some of the things first before we get into it. So as you can see, we have this cable. So this is like the, the most important or this is the most bulked up cable. This is for the motherboard. So it is going there, but I want to pass it through this partition so it can go there. Then we have the SATA cables. These are going to be getting really, really tough because the SATA connectors are like just where the hard disks are so i need uh, some things to go through it other than that i'm not actually worried about the motor cables i think motor cables are really big so they can actually pass through uh, the behind to there but still we have got tons of work to do so let's get directly into it i won't be showing you all the things because this is going to be pretty boring but yeah let's see what we can do two hours later so it is pretty much done by right now so you can see uh, from the power supply we are getting some of the cables here so these are my hard disk cables that i got in there and from on the down we have got the sata uh, cables that are carrying the data for hard disk from there so my sdds are actually managed by right now and the thing is like i said i was not able to do the motherboard wire because the power connectors or the like 8 and 16 bit power connectors are not very big so as you can see this bulk of a cable is, is still a problem i don't know when we are going to be figuring out this one but whenever i'm going to be getting it and if i wanted to do it then i will make a separate video about it but for now on other than like i said other than this huge cable everything looks really really good in here so as you can see it looks tons better than what it was before and I am kind of happy with it. If like this cable uh, would have managed, I would have loved it. But it is not going to be making much of a difference because all the cables are actually routed up here. And as you can see, with a case like this one or an inexpensive or old case, is you can still manage some of the cables. So this is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You can talk to me in the comment section down below. And uh, I have an upcoming video about how you can take amazing photos from a mid-range smartphone coming up very very soon so stay tuned for that and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to see more content like this one and i will see you guys in the next one